because I think it's a humongous part of shoulder function and stability. Okay, being able to project, I think it goes under the radar a lot. I think a lot of people miss it, and I think that's to their detriment. So if you can try and get really good at this, I will almost guarantee you those results with your clients because it has worked every single time for me. Yeah, let me get that right in. That's pretty good. And then push that forward as you go. Push, 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 push. Push your body away from the wall. And drive away. Good. That's looking good. Because this stuff not just only works on shoulder protraction stability, works on glenohumeral joint because it's forced to. Okay, so when you do this sort of work, you are forcing the, the rotator cuff muscles to stabilize the glenohumeral joint. It's beautiful. And remember, the primary function of the rotator cuff is not rotation, it is stabilization of the, glen the humerus in the glenoid. Let them come in. Make sure that shoulder blade is really retracting back so they get the idea where they have to be, that full range. Now from there, what I want you to do, instead of saying push away from the wall, I want you to push your hand into the wall, push your ribs back out towards me, keep pushing, keep pushing, keep pushing, get that full protraction, get that shoulder blade around the ribs, okay? And there's the isometric work here and you'll feel that Everything's sort of turning on here. So they're getting the ball locked on. They're already doing isometric work in their rotator cuff. If they've got a tear there and they've got wing escape, it's already getting better. Okay? And you'll have to go through this quite a bit. Chest to the wall, shoulder blade back, let it come back, let it come back, let it come back. Now push away from the wall, push your hands through the wall, push your body towards me, push your shoulder forward, push, push, push. Try and use those push words. Okay, get that firing. Thanks, Clay. The rotator cuff's job is to keep that ball snug in the socket, sitting centered, while the big boys do all the work of moving the arm. That's why the deltoid, the pec, and the lat all sit around down here on the shaft of the humerus. They yank that humerus around. They do not move the ball in the socket. They are big, powerful, not a me, but most people, big powerful muscles, right? The rotating up the small little, they've got a different job. Okay, they don't just do this. Okay, and when they do do that, they're doing two roles. They are stabilizing and they're rotating. Okay, and some rotation comes from the power muscles, but not the big press pull movements. So you've got to think, I need stability. This is why this has to happen first, because it's happening with your shoulder blade movement. So, I've split this into two, closed chain and open chain, just for teaching purposes. Okay, not that you choose one over the other, but if you're gonna choose anything, I would choose closed chain before you choose open chain. You'll find that with her, she'll have less, just because of age, I know it sounds terrible, she'll have less retraction ability. There won't be, it'll be stiffer. She'll need more, so to, this is where you can't load them too much. You have, you need, keep going, where are you going? And you're gonna see if like, have they actually got, she can't even get full retraction with that, no. And then when she pushes forward, it doesn't come forward enough either. And she wants to do a little bit of that. Yeah, she yeah. does, yeah, exactly. Yeah. So this person, sometimes I get them to go, actually, can you pull your shoulder blade back? And get a little yeah. bit more. Yeah. Because this is person, they might be not winging, way but their, might, their problem might be mobility. So you, you, you don't have to not use rhomboids. You can actually use your rhomboids to pull them in to get the range yeah. Relax there, try to loosen up. <laughs> Something that's wobbly, okay? So when they're on this thing here, it's, oh my Lord, that's wobbly. So when they put some load through here, okay, you'll start the shake going on, okay? You can see my body's already trying really hard to stabilize that. Maybe that's a good interim before you start adding load. Because maybe if you, as soon as you add load, that wings out, okay, well, they haven't got enough strength yet. So can you add on some things? Maybe it's because you need to keep them motivated. They're doing this thing, you know, this is boring. Okay, I can do it. And then jumping to load is too hard for them. So maybe you add on something like this. Squeeze back for people who can activate their serratus. They've got a mobility problem. Because if you pull on that rhomboids, 
it's going to switch off your psoriasis and you lose the eccentric control. Yeah, because the you put on an antagonist, the agonist goes and just turns off. Yeah. Yeah, so you lose your control. So if they're winging, you can't pull it back. Do it double. Yeah.